Well, the lazy days of summer are back upon us again, and it's really not a great time to be out hunting. There really aren't any seasons open during this time of year, and it can be hot and uncomfortable. But it is a great time to get out there and practice with your bow and sharpen your skills for the upcoming small game season. I'll be honest with you, when it comes time for fun hunting, small game season can't be beat. When you get out there in the woods and it's prime time and there's squirrels all in the trees jumping around and you've got a target rich environment, it is the most fun. Deer hunting's all right, and yeah, I do it, but it's, it's tough for me to just sit there in a blind or a stand for hours on end, bored out of my skull, waiting for an animal to walk by. I'd much rather be out there pursuing something, and that's the great thing about small game, is it's a more active pursuit. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some shooting and practicing techniques that I use to sharpen my skills on small game, which will invariably help you when big game season opens up and that deer walks within range. Now the first thing I like to do is practice with the same arrows that I'm gonna hunt with. I know some people have a set of hunting arrows and they have a set of practice arrows. I don't. I like to practice with the same arrows I hunt with. That way I know exactly how they fly. I can group the ones together that fly consistently and those are the ones I use when it comes time to hunt. Secondly, you want to come out into an environment like this where you actually hunt. Uh, you can shoot in your backyard, but it's not the same as coming out into the woods like this. You don't hunt in your backyard. And the military has a saying, train like you fight, which means replicate as closely as possible the actual scenarios you're gonna be in when you're fighting. And the same applies to hunters. If you come into an environment like this where you're actually gonna hunt, you become familiar with it, you become accustomed to shooting in it, and then you are invariably gonna do better when it comes time to, to shoot at that animal. The one thing I wanted to show you guys was how I actually shoot. Now this is a technique I've developed, but it may help some of you when you're shooting at animals. Some people will tend to draw the bow, hit full draw, and then try to find the target, aim, and release. For me, that's never worked because I've been too distracted with trying to hold the bow at full draw and find the target at the same time. So here's the way I shoot. When I'm shooting at an animal or at a target, I'll hold the bow up just partially drawing it like this. And what I'm doing is I'm pre-aiming. I'm actually aiming at the target. And then as I come back, still aiming, still aiming. And then when I hit full draw, the arrow's gone. And the, the great thing about that is I'm already pre-aiming. So I've establishing my sight picture. I've established my sight picture at the very beginning of the draw. So when I come back, I'm focusing on the spot I want to hit and then if I need to make any adjustments at full draw it just takes a split second and then boom the arrow's gone. Now this is a technique that I've developed and it works very well. Now I, I, one thing I will tell you is I'll hold this position for three, five, eight, sometimes even ten seconds until I feel like I've really settled in and dialed in on that target and then I come back slowly 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 still aiming the entire time and making adjustments as I draw and that technique really works for me it also helps me establish a focus uh, at the very beginning of the draw and really uh, has has helped me when it comes to shooting at game animals but it's going to take practice this technique may not work for everybody it may not work for you but I wanted to at least pass that on because that's the way I've learned to shoot and has really helped me so what do I use for targets? Well, one of the best things you can use are little toy stuffed animals like these. Looks kind of like a squirrel, just the wrong color. Um, I mean, even little babies like this, looks like Chucky's kid. Uh, here's here's a, a, a sailor rat. Look at him, he's laughing at me. And even um, creepy doll heads like this one. <sighs> just gives you something to shoot at, makes it more fun but it also helps you when you use small targets like this, allows you to give something to focus your aim on. So let's set these up into realistic scenarios and take some shots. Now, of course, you wanna set up your targets in the same positions that you see the real animals sitting in. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen squirrels hang on the sides of trees like this, and I've shot numerous squirrels in this same position. So what I'll do is use a thorn, to hold this little stuffed animal up against a tree. 
and then I'll take some shots at him. Look who I've got. It's the child of Chucky. I always hated Chucky. <laughs> Boy, it's getting hot, so I'm gonna head back to the house. But I really enjoy getting out and shooting like that and practicing by shooting at those small targets. And I encourage you guys to do the same. And when you do shoot at them, try to aim for what would be the vitals of that animal. You'll be amazed at how tight your groups will become and how accurate you can get with that kind of practice. And you'll be deadly come small game season. Remember, shoot straight, pick a spot, and I'll see you guys around.